Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back at the title screen of Spelunky. It's time to continue our ongoing series. Who should we pick? I don't know. But if you do know, then you should go check the last episode before I tell you. Because look at that! We got ourselves a new character. We got ourselves a Super Meat Boy-esque, round-headed-esque, character-esque character. But, uh, it's episode 32, so enjoy. Hopefully. We're hopefully gonna go... Go to higher places now with our new character, but we'll obviously find out in the near future. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go down in the caves and see what we can do, because we can do plenty now that we have ourselves a nice character, and we also have a nice arrow trap here that just... Uh, <laughs> uh, I kill myself sometimes, literally. Uh, let's let's try to do better than that to start off the episode. But hey, we got ourselves two crates to start off the episode, and bam! Oh, we already have ourselves ten bombs, which is a pretty sweet number just to start off things here. At, to start off this fiasco, if you will, plenty to do around here, so I'm not going to skimp on our activities while I can. I think I can. Perfect. Oh, I feel crisp today, and that's that's a good thing. I'm obviously I haven't been in a deep fryer in a long time, so I'm glad that. My crispiness is coming back to me as I feel it now. It's flowing through my veins. It is, it's good. It's It's—it's all good. And we have ourselves another arrow trap to deal with here. Unfortunately though, we're kind of low on cash and that's good and bad, but we have ourselves also an easy damsel to get over here, which is just as good as having no cash because we'll get that one health back that we wasted with the physics objects. No, they're in my class. I'm taking a summer physics class and their physics gravity is coming to haunt me. Damn you, Sir Isaac Newton. That's that's your fault. That's a miscue on you, man. All right, I'm going to use a bomb here. Because I feel as if this ruby will be worth it as well as all that extra gold. As you can see, we have something around the lines of 5k here. And since we had the extra bomb, I'm certainly not bashful in using it. With the extra, you know, six bombs, and now it's extra five bombs, but we're good to go here, as you can see. We sort of made up for lost time, so to speak, which is nice. And we're going to get even more made up for lost time here when we kill the spider and get ourselves some nice cash. Emeralds feel really cheap to me, unfortunately. They're only 800 at this stage, and I don't like that. But you can't always have what you want, obviously, especially in a roguelike game like Spelunky. Now... Let's see, we got some extra, I'll buy a bomb bag. Yeah, that, that's a good purchase for me right now. Aha! I think this arrow trap's already been triggered, as you can see, very plainly. And there's our, we have ourselves a freeze ray, which is just as interesting. And we get ourselves a cape, so we are starting off in a really good spot here. I, I do like this. Let's see, I don't think I can make this jump, and I did spring that arrow trap, which is always nice. Oh, look at that beauty. Isn't that just pretty sweet? That's that's a pretty sweet maneuver there. I don't use the freeze ray much, but obviously when I do, I am primed and ready to do so. And we also got ourselves our one damsel sacrifice, which really makes me happy. There's really nothing to get over to our left here, and I'm pretty sure that the Ujet Eye was not on this floor. It's not located here. The princess with the Ujet Eye is in another castle, which is unfortunate. I think we can actually... Oh, my lordy lordy, guys. This is going to be... Pretty sweet episode, as you can see. Let's see, I think we can- I'd rather use a rope to get down there if we can get down there, so that's what I'm gonna do. I feel as if that's the best option here, and I definitely will get this money since I still have the bombs, which is just as nice. I bought those extra ones in the shop, and as you can see, it's led us to even more cash, which we're gonna start to feel the hurting for in a little bit because we do not have a matic or anything that will get us some nice cash which is unfortunate but it is what it is kill these spiders you see now that's the only thing that i'm worried about here i have to use a rope there's no other way to circumvent this platforming unfortunately if there is a bomb in here jump on top oh okay that's great that's good to know obviously you can tell that i'm not very experienced with the freeze ray and i think i will use two bombs since we got three in that bag to access this crate over here. We just have to watch for this arrow coming out of this arrow trap. So I'm going to hit over here. I thought I was going to be pretty safe, but you never know. We got some ropes out of that. That's pretty nice. But as I was saying before, we don't really have much cash, which is un unfortunate. So that's something we're going to need to work on. And obviously, I would hope that we would get the Ujedi soon, because if it's not on this floor, it has to be on the next floor. Because if that's not the case, then there was an issue with me missing the chest and key, which is not good, obviously. 
Let's see, I'm not going to use a bomb to get that 1500 up there, but I am going to check out over this way. We're going to get a damsel out of this, which is nice. Let's see, we're kind of around 3k, so I'm still kind of worried. Uh, obviously, we don't have the chest and keys still, so... Ah, this could be bad. But, we have a... Uh, we don't even need the helper. Alright, we're just going to have to hope that the Ujet Eye is on the next floor. But I, I have pretty high hopes that it will be, because I'm pretty sure we've done a fair amount of exploring here. But if we miss it, then obviously that's... You know, i got no one else to blame but myself right there, unfortunately. It is what it is. I'm going to do that little shenanigan right there. Uh, let's... Oh, that is such a good feeling. I love that maneuver now. I'm going to see if I can use that to, to full advantage, obviously. I mean, obviously, I'll try. But let's try that again. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Isn't that pretty sweet? I, I have to say that that literally just came out of the blue, that the idea to do that. And that made me feel really, really good when I figured that out. I don't know if many people know of that. But here's our chest, so that means we were right, in a way. Now, I wonder... Okay, we can freeze him and kill him. Wow, this thing is much more handy than I thought. That big spider kill is huge. So, let's find the key here. There's a bunch of arrow traps above my head, I believe. Yeah. So that's... That's one there. And then there's another here that I want to... I don't know why, but obviously it was important enough for me to do it in the present. So that's good. Where's our key, damn it? Want my Ujets. My Ujet strats. Oh well, we'll figure it out. We're at 36k, which is good. So I'm definitely in much better position now with cash than I was before. Just gonna make sure we don't fall in the spikes here. Man, this freeze rate, you know, I think it gets kind of a bad rap because it's basically like a shotgun with a knockback that it has. As well as the... Whatchamacallit that I'm thinking of. The web gun has a pretty nasty knockback that you're gonna have to watch. But, you know, it can come in handy. And the only thing that I don't like about the cape is that it really can mess you up when you get hit while the cape is activated. But that's kind of a... Oh boy, that was really close. Oh, come on, no. That was annoying. Alright, where's our key? It should be... Oh, don't tell me it's to the left of the shopkeeper here. That would... That would suck pretty hardcore. But I guess that's where we're going to head, maybe? Where's this key at? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna have to use a couple of bombs. We're gonna get a damsel out of this as well, so... All is not broken. We're gonna have to use like three bombs here, and I don't like that one bit. But it is what it is. Please don't blow me up. All right, it didn't. But I still have to use a a whatchamacallit, call call it a rope to get out of here, which is fine. We're gonna have to be micromanaging three things once again, which is not very nice. Well, now only two, but still micromanaging is micromanaging. But I feel much more confident now that we have the Ujedi that we can be successful in the future. As well as the, pra, the not the promise, but the idea that we will have a nice Kapala if we get lucky. So, and we get another altar. I'm guessing the ghost is coming from here. Yes, he is. Okay, so we're going to need to... Oh, this is going to be kind of not good. Is the freeze ray really worth it? Honestly... I can justify it, so let's see what I can do about getting it just really quickly. As you can see, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Barely avoided the ghost there, but that's okay. We are good to go. I'm going to check what's, what's in the shop again. Just some bombs. We have ourselves a Matic, but I don't really care too much for it. And, alright, no, not even, it's not worth the 500. Let's just go down to the forest. Something that I really can't say I've been doing often, so that's kind of why I also tried to avoid the shop there. Because it just got kind of... Too dicey for me, which is fine. And the freezeway will probably actually come into a lot of handy help in these areas with fishies. Piranhas, if you will. I like to call them the more childlike name because then they don't seem as scary to me. That's nice. Thank you for the, the offering of... Ooh, Black Market, I guess. Oh, is it right here? Is it right here? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that the... Isn't that the darndest thing that kids just tend to say? I like that. Alright. Do not want to go to the worm, obviously. We did that last episode, which you should totally watch because I, I beat the worm level, if you couldn't tell from my, you know, couple of spoilers, the fact that we have Meat Boy here. But, there's our damsel. Is it worth the two ropes? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. So, let's go down... Yeah, honestly, let's just go to the black market, get our onk, and see what we can do here. 
Not bad. Not 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 bad. I'm gonna see what I can do about keeping this freeze ray though, because I, I feel like that's a it's a pretty good thing here. I'm just going to try to not fire it, obviously. Maybe we'll be able to collect some money. Maybe we can grab a bomb bag on top of everything else that we have so far. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go down, but hopefully it will go down. I can totally jump on you, right? Okay, I want to make sure that he wouldn't eat me if I if I iced him. There we go. You're dead. And I don't want to fire it too close to the shop here. There we go. Okay, good. We get ourselves our Ankh here, and now we have two grand to waste on a bomb bag, probably. That or a compass. I might want to do the compass, although the cape sort of takes the burden of the idea of that. Uh, only we, we need the compass to, pers uh, to persist, to persist, really? That was going to come out of my mouth. To be perse to persevere through the the ice caves, but I don't know. We will see. What is over here to win? A camera? Pretty good item, but not good enough for us to buy, obviously, since we don't even have the money for. I think it might be worth it to grab a bomb bag. We can't actually grab a kiss, so that's sort of out of the question. Alright, yeah, we're gonna kill each and every one of these monkeys. Perfect. Oh, the cape is so nice with those. Oh, that's not good. Alright, you can pretty much drop right between these. Alright, good. You just have to make sure that it's really precise, because if not, then obviously I would have popped the Ankh early. But that is a maneuver I have to get more used to, because that's a kind of confirmation that you will see from those in some of the areas like the temple. So, it's kind of important to know and be familiar with, obviously. Alright, I want to get this 500. Well, 625 now, but was obviously worth it in the beginning here. You can actually shoot through those ice bubbles too, which is kind of, or to the, the poison bubbles from the slug. That's pretty sweet, actually. Now, we're going to go down nice and easy here. It actually looks like our snail died. Apparently, if you use the cape, I have the paste, right? Yeah. If you use the cape, you can actually fall down on top of spikes and you won't get hurt, which is kind of interesting. Oh, we got our compass here, so it's good that we didn't make an effort to buy it. But yeah, you can actually like sort of settle down on spikes, which is kind of a cool concept. Uh, obviously, I don't want to try it quite yet. I didn't obviously mean to get hit there. Still going to be looking for a damsel, though. I do not know where he or she or it is. Where are you? Not here, obviously. You can fly over here, though, which is kind of nice as well. Okay, let's pretend that that didn't happen. Let's just get the hell out of here since we're already down here now. Ugh, this is not good. We're going to be protecting one health here. So, the thing that I'm learning now about the ice beam is that it's not really good for above shots. Like, you have to be right on line with it or you're kind of fucked in that regard. So, that's something to think about. Um, I'm going to see what I can do about protecting the damsel here, but I don't know if the prana will actually serve to eat the damsel here. Will it? No, it won't eat the damsel. That's, that's always good. Let's do this. Yeah, that's good. There we go. We're going to kill everything that we can around here. Very nice. This is shit. All right, we're going to blow out this piranha's face here. Very nice. Oh, a B level. This is not good. Although we can freeze the queen bee, and that might actually be very helpful. So I'm going to leave the damsel. I'm actually no. I'm going to take the damsel with me over this way. Oh, fuck. That was so close. This is not a good place to be alive at all. Now, all the bees are going to come around down there. The, the damsel is kind of dead no matter how you cut the cake here. I'm going to have to use a bomb over this way. I didn't want to try that spike theory, obviously. All right, so here's what we're kind of dealing with here. We're going to try to kill all these bees because that's really the only option we have at this point. Or we're going to have the piranha eat the bees. That's, that's kind of a cool concept as well. But I'm really kind of hoping that this... Queen Bee comes over here and gets stuck in there. Oh, wow, these guys are coming with a reckless abandon here. Oh, boy. Shit, I wasn't even facing the right way? Are you kidding me right now? I am not happy about that at all. That's not cool, man. Mm-mm. That does not fly with me. Not at all. God damn it. I could have done something about that, too. That's just... I don't even want to say that that's sort of negligent behavior, because it isn't. That's just complete garbage. Oh well. 
will kill you the, the old fashioned way, quote unquote, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and this is an old bitey level too. Fucking rushing water and everything, man. Gosh, darn it. We should see about killing old bitey though, because that would be kind of cool. Come on and get me, buddy. Yeah, we got your royal jelly now after we're dead, of course. It's exactly, obviously, how I wanted that to play out. But... <sighs> that's what we're up against, unfortunately. Wow, there's so many piranhas down here. I should see what- honestly, I should see what I can do. Do they float and die? No, they come alive, though. That's... Pretty crazy. Alright, the ghost is coming. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Couldn't save the damsel, blah blah blah. God damn it. That, that's kind of annoying. We're in the ice cage now, though, but we lose any chance we have of getting to the City of Gold, which means that we can't technically go to hell this episode. I didn't even mention going to hell this episode, which is making me sad about the idea of going to hell, because normally when I mention it, nothing good happens, so I was kind of like, oh, maybe if I don't mention it, you know, some, some good shit will happen, but not of the salt. That's okay. We have a damsel to possibly save here, even though I don't really care for her, him, too much right now. You're gonna die there, spider. Thank you. Now, let's see if we can... I don't even know what we're gonna do. I wanted to kill this alien fella, but obviously that's kind of out of the question now, isn't it? I kind of want the Chris knife as well. Now that I've sort of played around with the Chris knife, it's a really nice item to have. Let's just kind of float down nice and easy here. Unfortunately, there are no dead or restless levels in this area, so... We can't go to the Black Knight's castle, so we're gonna just try to kill Olmec and... Get some more practice in the temple, I guess. That's... Yeah, you know, I guess you can never have enough practice in the temple. Kind of wish I had some nice... Some nice, uh, climbing gloves, but I guess the ice beam will just have to work for us for now. Alright, this is okay so far. Just want to be careful here. Obviously, we could float just all the way down to the exit if we wanted to. As you can see, the cape is just such a nice lifesaver. We'll just float ourselves all the way down. We get some nice cash here. Hopefully, we get a shopkeeper. Maybe we can cop ourselves a shotgun here, but I think this would have been the level that we sacrificed ourselves on. This is our next one, so just once again to remind those who are spelunky-minded. Of my mistake of popping the Ankh on accident when I got into a, a fight with a fucking bee of all fucking things to get into fights with. Alright, well, this will be interesting. We can kind of get the Kapala if we really wanted to. Can I sacrifice a couple of Jim Oaks here? There we go. Take you with me. Take you to my leader. My leader is Kali, and we got ourselves a Kapala now, which is kind of cool. Cool stuff, if you're into that stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Great general word to use, apparently. But Kapal's good. Kapal's good for health. That will maybe possibly save us from a tiki trap in the the uh, temple. Maybe, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But either way, it's you know it serves to exist for good only for us now. Let's see. Float right down here. We don't even have the spike shoes, so we can't even really do attacks. As you can see, it's just kind of crap, which is really crappy. But let's just go down again, since there's no reason for us to sort of temper, tamper with the population down near the, the fauna of everything. You actually buy a bunch of kisses now, which is cool and not so cool at the same time. Ooh, those guys explode. I should not forget that ever. I'm going to get this crate over here, though, I think. Yep, it is. Wow, that was close. I thought that was going to kill me, but I should have more confidence in myself. Oh, that destroyed the gems down there. I guess this is my one-way ticket down to, to to the temple. I was almost going to say to hell, but obviously that's not the case here. <laughs> but I'm kind of happy with the health that we have now. We have, what, eight health, and we're going to get more with the Kapal, which is always nice. But we're going to see also... Oh, there's Anubis. We're going to drop a bomb here. Nice spawn, Anubis. You're going to get the... I just wanted to get him out of the way. Obviously, I couldn't do anything about the other enemies around here but and obviously the scepter isn't going to do us much good because we don't need to get into the city of gold just gotta watch out for those lava men obviously and thwomps as you know thwomps are not so good encounters for this area 
We're gonna have to use a bomb to blow through this area, it looks like, so... That's a bit unfortunate, we're out of bombs now. That was close. Gonna take some blood from the scorpion here, even though we're not going to, and we're gonna go down. The only thing now is we don't have any bombs for Olmec, and that's not good. We've used too many of them. I actually wasn't keeping my eye on them, so that's pretty much all my fault, which is unfortunate. I don't want the lava men to come out and kill me, so I'm just gonna try to speed through here to get out of range. Yeah, we're, what we're gonna have to do here is let him go a little bit. Oh shit, please don't kill me. That's not good. We're just gonna have to sort of beat him out, which is, which could have been a much worse than that was, obviously. All right, that's, this this isn't good, really. The swamp, the swamp will most likely kill me, but there's literally no other way to get down. Besides falling, well, that was close. That was even closer, but we can buy all these bomb boxes. Oh, we could buy almost all of them, which is cool. That that was actually really sweet. We have 24 bombs now. I think we're going up against Olmec in one more room. We did have to get rid of our ice beam, though, which is unfortunate. Because we didn't really want to, obviously, but that's kind of where we're at right now in this situation. I have nothing to trigger this arrow trap, so I'm going to have to use a little ingenuity here. Which obviously isn't an issue for me, apparently, which is nice. Uh, this is a really bad situation here. But I have bombs now, which is always nice. So that's going to blow up. We got a thwomp here that we are going to blow up as well, hopefully. Thank you. Triggered some arrow traps in the process. That's always good. I'm gonna kill you. Where's our... Oh, here is our place of existence. That's awesome. Okay. So we're gonna use one more rope here. And we're gonna go on to Olmec. We're gonna beat him. And the cool thing about this is this is our first episode. This is my first run of the day. I literally just got home from class. And I was like, let's just play. Let's play some Spelunky. So cool, cool beans. The cool thing about it also is that I'm also gonna do more runs after this. Because I have a little bit of time before I have to pick up my sister from her internship, so pretty happy, pretty stoked about that, brah. Probably shouldn't have used that rope there, but I have plenty to go around here, and I have plenty of money to get as well. Kinda miss my ice beam now. I'm gonna use, you know, as many ropes as it takes. There are no treasure chests up here, and that's kind of sad, because I'm using ropes for no reason now. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, here's a... Here's a... That's bombs, that's always good, but I need ropes. You seriously gonna tell me that all there was up here was money? That's unfortunate. Alright, well, um... Olmec, you got some gems on you. That's kind of disgusting, that's really gross. So, we're gonna just start bombing down this way here. Gonna go right here. Just start hammering away at what we have here. This guy's gonna kind of do his thing. I wanna see if I can aggro him, there we go. There we go. What we can do now is throw him away, <laughs> and that's always good. So we're gonna put this right here, and just jump at the right time. I want to make an initial pathway here before I throw some ropes, because I want to know what my rope usage is looking like, obviously. Please don't blow that rock over. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna throw a rope here, and I'm gonna throw another rope on top of this rope, because that looks like it works. <laughs> That's pretty much how I'm gauging my success here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work up this way. I think this is probably a good way to work. I'm gonna just keep tossing bombs this way. Make a nice entrance for Mr. Olmec. I know it's probably been such a long day from him, just kind of hanging out here, not really ready to be summoned one way or the other. So make a nice big path for him since this is our way out of this hellhole. Alright, I think that's pretty much what we're going to be up against here. I'm going to... I mean, I can use literally all my bombs. I don't have an issue with that. So I think this is going to be pretty good here. So let's... Oh, yeah, that's... I forgot about him. Let's see if we can bomb him to death. Yeah, he'll walk right over that. You're dead now, buddy. Your dead body means nothing to me because it's a dead body. Alright, come here, Olmec. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. There you go, one more and then... Yep. Did you not see that coming? I did not know he actually did that if you were on ropes. I thought he just would have moved you. 
So that was a mistake, obviously. I could have beaten Olmec. I'm just going to count that as a victory because that was a pretty good run for my first my warm-up run, so to speak. That's good. All right, we're kind of already firing on all cylinders here, so that's good. As well, we'll just parallel that to the last round. I took stupid early damage on that round, and I'm going to take stupid early damage on this one, too, so that's good. So we're kind of right on pace where, with, where, where we were last session, which is nice. Last run, not session. Session would denote a whole episode ago, and we're obviously not a whole episode ago because we're a whole episode now. Episode Seption, LOL. I'm so cute and funny with my Septions. What a dumb joke. I'm sorry if you like those jokes. They're dumb. They're stupid. Heh. It's Comedy Week on YouTube, so that means it's funny. Haha. <laughs> All right. Enough terrible jokes for now. I kind of knew that was going to happen. But I was pretty much completely ready, which is nice. I kind of like this ruby here, so I'm going to take it. Love the play-by-play, -play, right? Oh! That still hurt our damsel, so no issues there. Oh, I wanted to grab the damsel before I went through. That's okay, though. We are out of here. We're back to base health. 12k. A little bit better than last time. A little bit more access to some dollar dala which is nice. Now, the only bad thing about this now is it's a dark level, and you know my track record with dark levels as of late. So that's not good. Stop it. I wanted... Yeah, there you go. I wanted to drop it. And we just did that. So that's good. Let's light this place up a little bit. This is a really dark, dark level. Normally you have a lot of opportunities to light it up. But obviously at this stage we don't. There's some money for me. There's another torch over this way. We're going to totally try to get the all the golden scarabs possible. Because those are just good cash. It's kind of a shame that we didn't have bombs in that room. Because I was totally ready to buy a lot of bombs. Since we had plenty of cash. But one bomb bag is good enough for me. Aha, uh -huh. I'll just jump on this bat to get up here. Oh, I see. Wow, these guys are all elusive. Pretty crazy stuff. There we go. Thank you for the five grand. Although the, the kind of downside, which is kind of interesting, it's an interesting way to balance these areas. The downside of taking the golden scarabs is that it sort of takes away some of the light in the area. And that's kind of cool as it is scary because you start to think about how, wow, these developers really meant for all this shit to be exactly how depressing and awful it is so that's cool it's a cool thought to have i guess there is another golden scarab above our heads here somewhere so i'm gonna try to be wary of that as well i think it's just yeah it's right up there isn't it unfortunately we can't bomb our way oh we can we can actually get there that's even better yeah we're gonna be much more careful here obviously there could be bats and things that we just don't even see right now because it's just that scary in the dark are you afraid of the dark? What is this, Goosebumps? Who are you? I don't even know. R.L. Stein. What, a, what an author for sort of young teens who are into horror. Some pretty interesting, yet grotesque and disgusting stories, like the blob that like actually killed things and stuff. I don't know, it was c cool. No damsel, so I can't sacrifice. I can't sacrifice nothing, man. Oh well, let's just get out of here while we can. Gonna burn that skeleton to death. Can skeletons die, even though they're, like, reanimated or whatever? I don't even know. Sounds like a good chicken soup for the teenage soul, like, dead, undead skeletons version. I don't even know where I'm going with that. But, hey, you can market that, man. You can market anything in this day and age. Just get some virality to it, or vir viralness to it, I guess, is what I meant to say there. I don't even know. We have a key, so that sort of broke the monotony of my ramble. That's always good. It's always good to refresh yourself in that regard. Is our chest down here? No, but the damsel is. Looks like we can get our hands on some climbing gloves, which is pretty nice. But we're going to get ourselves some paste as well. We haven't even had to use many bombs, which is always a good... Always good news. Where is the chest, though? That's... There it is. Perfect. It's what I, it's really all I worry about. I'm going to buy these two things. Little combo there. I like it. Wow, that was a really nice combo. Oh, we had to do plenty of things right there. And we still didn't throw the scorpion quite as far as I wanted to, but it still ended up being pretty fairly successful, which is nice. There we go. Kind of miffed that I couldn't sacrifice any damsels on that dark level, but easy come, easy go, I guess. I don't even know what the easy come and go reference to, but I guess the easy, the red, the readiliness of damsels or was is the easy come, and uh, I don't know. I've given up personally 
try to understand myself, so that should tell you something about me. <laughs> uh, is it worth the, the rope? Not really too much at all. So let's just go down the next floor. We got 1-4 coming up, so it looks like we have another pretty good opportunity to get to the forest and the black market, which is nice, since we do have the chest and key now. We have the Ujet Eye, which is just as good as any eye, any old glass eye. I don't even know. I mean, it kind of looks like an eye. It looks more like a salamander or a gecko or something, more than an eye, but I guess that's, you know, ancient lore and such. We got a ruby out of that, if you did not notice my money go up. It's pretty cool. And we get ourselves a damsel. Ooh. And an opportunity to get some cash. Whew. And a crate. I'm liking it already. I'm liking the opportunities that are presented to us presently. Okay. We'll toss a bomb up there and get some more cash from the spider. Oh, thank you so much for just dropping right where I wanted to. Alright, we're not gonna we're not gonna risk the damsel here, obviously. But we are going to. Ooh, we have climbing gloves. How could I have forgotten those already? And that's. That's bad memory, but that's not a good sign. Okay, now... Just don't want you to fall in the spikes. That's pretty much all that I don't want to go wrong right now. There's some two rubies there. That looks kind of inviting, but... I have to save my bombs now for better opportunities. Damn it! Who turned my notifications on when I wasn't looking? Gosh darn it. I gotta stop doing that. Oh well. As long as no one else pops online, I'm sure you guys are okay with not watching me go to my Xbox menu for the... 30th time or so. Wait for you to go in the door, obviously. And we place our bomb. And we are happy again. Because we're going to get a crate. Kind of kept you in suspense there for no reason. What is the crate? What was crate? Crate was good. Crate was bombs. Crate is bombs. Completed. Good. 1-4. Okay. We already have to start off with a onslaught of enemies which is great it's great news for anyone in the game so to speak are you guys a player do you play -a the game i don't know but i certainly do what <laughs> my, the voices in my head today are not coherent and that necessarily isn't a bad thing but it also can't be good ever we're gonna knock you into kingdom come yeah you gonna die right there come on die there's Seriously? The piranha's not gonna die? That's sad. Maybe because it's not moving, I guess? I don't know. There's Kelly! Okay. Never again. That was too close to call. I pressed A again as if I had the cape. So that's not good. I'm forgetting items I have that I took two damage for no reason. Oh, monkey, why do you do this to me? That was close. Yeah, you can go down there. You can do your thing. Can I hit this guy from here? Yes, I can. That's good. Alright. Now, just have to be more on the careful side, obviously. Ooh, that was fortunate. What else can I get around? I don't even have spike shoes, which makes me nervous. I also haven't been watching for the Ujedi to ping. So, my apologies if I missed the black market. I'm gonna do a little bit of a makeshift rounds here to make sure I didn't miss any Ujedi ness which is good I guess. Alright, I don't see the thing pinging, so that's... Ugh, this is not a good spot to be in, is it? Should I throw a rope down here? Oh, I have the climbing gloves, damn it! Wow! My mind, man, it's not with me right now, obviously. All right, I, don't, I still don't see the damsel or anyone of value. Wow, how did he... Uh, all right, we can kill all these fish if we need to. Stop. Stop messing up. There we go, okay. So that killed all the fish here. I don't mind using a rope to get the damsel here now because my health is at one, and I don't think I'm going to sacrifice the damsel because my health is at one which is no good still have five bombs to get to the black market though the ghost is here and i'm okay with how everything is going here did i still oh i uh, can't get it can't get it let's go 
down another floor with 60k, so we're still able to amass a little bit more wealth before we do anything significant, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I don't know. I'm still be looking for this gosh confangled black market, whatever that is. All right, we're getting some plenty of crates here, so not too worried about. Ooh, we got bombs from that crate. Even better. There you go. There's another crate up here, I think, right? Yes, more bombs. Oh, can't have enough of those thingies. Good, goody, goody. All right, you're dead. Or stunned. Which is just as good as dead, in my opinion, for this level. I kind of like to have two of those torches going in this area, because, as you can see, it would be really helpful. There we go. Oh, black market is here. The black market, I repeat, is here. So... Uh, what are we... Oh, is it, like, right here? Oh, it is. Okay. So I'm going to throw a rope here. Hmm. There we go. That should do the trick. Okay, that's perfect. I mean, I'd have to waste another bomb here. That's okay, but we're going to end up getting, which is nice, a souvenir, if you will. An idol. Which is just as good as not having an idol. So we're gonna pick this bad boy up here. We have the... So what is it? It's supposed to be like right here, right? Yeah, okay. Too bad I can't hear the sound. Because that makes things not so nice. So there it is. There's our final destination, if you will. Gonna drop that off and we're gonna go. 86k, which means we can have a little bit of spending room. Maybe we can get a jetpack, but really we're gonna be able to get the Ankh, and that's obviously most important issue here. We're gonna have another opportunity to get a boomerang, which is cool. But I'm more worried about in getting like two things, well three things now. The spike shoes, the onk, and a jetpack. So that's where I'm at personally right now. Don't know where you are. Get in the game, son. What's this way? Nothing, nothing, nothing good. Stuff that it can kill us, obviously. So that's always a pity. Nothing good to get in the shop there. I'm going to go this way and see if we can kill this frog. Because he is blocking off my way here. And this bat as well. Oh, so glad we didn't piss off the shopkeepers there. Okay, so we have a compass already. We have a bomb bag. We have the climbing gloves. Really, what else do we need besides clearing out this area of bombs? And we can buy... As many kisses as a hot desires, which I will definitely, you know, spend all my cash here and just buy kisses on kisses on kisses because four health is much better than two. And as we learned from last episode, the four health obviously didn't last me very long when I started making mistakes. So that's what we're up against here. Now, once again, I'm just going to be extremely careful around these areas here. We have a bat coming up. Ugh, that's just heartbreaking, dream-making, something about other things in that song I can't remember too much. There we go. That'll just drop right where I don't want it to, which is always shitty. Oh, boy. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Wow, three health. So we lost one on the bat. That's 10k down the drain. But we have the Ankh, and we have the Spike Shoes, and the Compass, so we're pretty much all set up once again, which is nice. Much better than we were last time around, so even better. More cash here, which I intend to give to uh, one lucky shopkeeper in this contest. Wow! Whew, that was close. Should we get the Damsel here? We have 16 bombs, why not? There's a lot of cash here anyway, so might as well... It'd be foolish not to. And there's our exit right there, so I'm not even going to waste time or money or effort here. Just going to go down, let our damsel go, save himself, itself. I still don't know what the gender of the dog is. I mean, everyone, all the YouTubers call him Monty, right? So I'm just going to say that right now. And the interesting thing about that is, like, Monty is definitely not a unisex name, but, like, are you, are you being nice enough to both genders here, if you're saying that? I don't know. Got ourselves a freeze ray, but I kind of like the boomerang because the freeze ray got me into trouble last time, and it's just time to go down. We saved the damsel. We got 10 extra K 
from the idol. And now, besides, you know, dropping things, I'm good to go, obviously. Since we have the spike shoes, it makes things much more... I, I want to say, like, better, but it's just really poor grammar. But it's kind of what we're up against here. We're up against my poor grammar skills. My English teachers would be terribly annoyed with my commentary sometimes, I would think. Although I really respect a lot of my English teachers, so maybe they would enjoy it. I don't know. Some do, some don't. <laughs> they all they all subscribe, I tell you that. They inflate my views, obviously. I'm gonna kill both of y'alls. And I think it's time to go. Time to get out of here. You can enjoy the worm. There you go, kid. Let's just go down. <laughs> Got two of them sleeping there on the wormhole. I like it, I like it a lot. Now we have to start looking out for the opportunity to sacrifice myself because that's kind of where we are now in the sequence of events. I always talk about like the same sequence of events that we need to become successful at uh, getting to hell or succeeding in general. One thing we're gonna have to worry about obviously still is our bomb count. We just have to be very careful with that, very protective of it, obviously. We gotta kill this UFO here somehow. Ah, here we go. Beautiful, that was pretty good, actually. Now I just gotta make sure that the the head isn't on this level. That's all I worry about. So we're gonna go up against the wall this way. Look at look at how handy climbing is with the climbing gloves. Isn't that nice? It is just so nice. Alright, so I don't see the head here. That's what I got from this whole little adventure, this experience, if you will. But it did allow me to travel around a little bit and make sure that I wasn't missing anything, and that is so that is just so vital for the for the ice caves. So let's go down. I think we'll be sacking sacrificing ourselves now, or sacking, depends on uh, whether you're playing baseball or softball or whatever. They always call it the sack fly or the sack bunt, uh, or the ball sack, as I'm sure all you sexual fiends are referring to in your minds. All right, get your laughs out of the way now. I know you all like to laugh at that stuff. That's fine. I'm not going to judge anyone for that because I'd laugh myself. Anyways, <laughs> I'm still going to be kind of looking for a shopkeeper around here because it still wouldn't be too bad of an idea to have here. We do have our damsel that I would really love the opportunity to save. Perfect. Perfect. Now, can I make this jump? That's the question. We're not going to actually find out, because I don't want to. Actually, we might find out when I go to sacrifice myself, but that's pretty much all we had to do around here. We do have a parachute, so I should probably just fall in some spikes. Which I'm totally going to do. His face looked very unhappy when I killed him, so my apologies, Meat Boy, but you obviously are here to serve bigger and better things. I wonder how that actually feels when you, f when you die with the Ankh and you get resurrected. Is it like one of those waking up coma type deals where you're just like, all of a sudden you're just like, <gasps> you just like gasp for air and you're like, where am I? It's been 17 years. Oh my lord. Eh? But that is me just being hyper because we're in a good spot here. I don't want to squander it, obviously. So we're going to be doing our best to not do just that. Let's actually grab our damsel here. Should I? Might as well. It'll knock the damsel down. Hopefully not kill it. Oh, good. Did it kill the damsel? Nope, the damsel's perfectly, perfectly complacent with life right now, and I love that. I love it. Okay, so here's the tough part, though. We have to make sure that this guy turns around, and then we can kill him, as you can see. That's good. So that wasn't actually a tough part. I do want to, ooh, I do want to take out these UFOs, but if I don't need to... Fuck. We're stuck again. Oh, actually, maybe not. Wow, this is really... fuck. Alright, are we gonna sacrifice the damsel here to kill some UFOs? I think we are. That was some quick thinking on my part. Holy shit! Okay, we have no ropes, but we kept ourselves alive. We're going to the temple, boys! We're going to the temple! Holy shit! Wow, that was... some quick thinking. Now, you may be saying to me, Wow, that was such a great decision to not give up the parachute there by falling down or something. We're gonna actually kill Anubis there. The all-natural way. Perfect. So, we killed Anubis already. Now we can worry about getting to the City of Gold. And we, whoop, we can go to hell. Hopefully. That's where we are. So, might as well. This is where we can be right now. Just be careful of these 
Thwompy Thwomps. But I think we're good to go down. We're honestly not going to be spending much time here, like, contemplating our existence, for one. But for two, we're not going to be spending much time uh, screwing around in this area. Wow, we can actually already get down here. And should I use the bomb to get the damsel? That is the question. There are Thwomps over there. Health is not extremely important to me, so let's just go down. Time to go to the City of Gold. We're going to speed through this, obviously, unless there's some obvious crates to grab or whatever. I'm really not looking for, you know, friends for one, but for two, I'm not looking for, you know, crazy combinations here. I'm going to let him come over just a little bit more here. All right, yeah, now you can spit your shit at me. All right, perfect. There's our damsel again. Very nice, very nice. We still need to get the Necronomicon. Do not forget that. That's something I'm not happy about having to do because that also means that we might have to use... Okay, so this is the Necronomicon room to our right. There's a Thwomp here, so I'm going to kill it or mess around. Okay, so the Thwomp is dead. That's good. There we go. This is kind of a really shitty place to be right now. All right, we're going to let this guy come all the way over this way. Should we aggro him, though? That's that's the question. All right, I don't think this is a good place to be once again, so maybe I should bomb in from the bottom. I don't... I can't make this jump, can I? Shit, that's a tough jump to make anyway. So, fuck it, right? 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 There we go. Okay, so we're going to use a bomb here. Please take out the arrow trap. No, not not no such luck. And I'm gonna have to use a bomb here because I can't use a rope to get out. That's gonna be depressing. But we're gonna kill this guy here. Good, good. All right. Now here's the tough part. The door is all the way over this way. I don't want to take this Necronomicon, obviously. I want to set up a getaway route here before I do anything. All right. The door is directly below us. So let's see what we can do here. Ah, shit. We wasted a bomb there. We didn't really need to. Oh, well, we killed Anubis, too. That's another step. Grab this gold. Why not? Those guys will dissipate, which is nice, because that's what should happen in this situation. Once again, another precision jump here. <sighs> okay, wow. That was close, but we're against Olmec now. We don't have a lot of bombs, and we don't have any ropes to climb up here. Ah, so this might get dicey. That's not what I, that's pretty much what I'm worried about right now is not being able to get to hell with this bomb situation that I have right now. We don't even have the spring shoes, so hopefully we can get a chest or two up this way. It doesn't look like it. We can go up the other or down the other way. That could be something that we do. Come on, buddy. I want to kill this guy too before he starts tossing us around. The hell door isn't even around here, so I want to ride you this way, actually, if you don't mind. I don't think I can get up to this platform. I can. Still no chests, though. I need a chest with a bomb box. I mean, that's where I'm standing right now. Okay, so here's a chest, and there's some other chests here. Please be a rope. Pitcher's mint. Not good. Not a good start. Bomb box, please. Boomerang. Not good. All right. There's our last chest here. Ropes! Okay, so... We can at least see what's going on around to our left and right here, I think. Any chests? No dice. Wow, this is a really crappy Olmec. God damn. Alright, well... We need to find out where Hell is. Hell is right below us right here, so... Where's Olmec? Olmec is over there. Need to get him to start carving our own path here, because this is where... Shit really hits the fan. It's right where he blasted us, too. There we go. That did damage. Not good. Come here. Come here, Olmec. We need to aggro him down here. There we go. What? 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 No! <laughs> Oh, we got to Olmec twice and we died twice, and this time we could have gone to hell. God damn. Oh, this is never going to happen, is it? It's just never going to happen for us. God damn it. All right, well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little episode of Splunky. This has been Duffkin56. I got to be careful where I stand, I guess.
See you guys next time. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye.